Hi folks, uh, it's me Stick uh, and I asked people to get in touch with me and Nathan Aris, I think, um, asked me if I would draw a gorilla. So I'm going to have a go. Don't draw too many gorillas. Uh, but what I was thinking was I'll just sort of show you the kind of structure of a gorilla or you know a cartoon kind of gorilla is you kind of think of um, like a like a triangle and tiny tiny little kind of feet but you have this kind of structure for you know the monkey himself and there you go I mean that's basically you kind of look there you go sorry that's basically your kind of um, your template for a gorilla but I was thinking, well, you know, let's kind of make it interesting. Um, so I'm going to try and make it interesting. I'm not sure it will be, but here we go. Um, actually, Jay, uh, what happened was Nathan asked me, uh, he said, well, I, well, he asked me some sort of joke about um, how to draw a um, someone trying to get milk out of a bull. And I said, no, 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 that's not what it's about. It's about, um, about techniques. Um, like, you know, if you want to draw, say, a gorilla. And he went, well, go on in, draw a bloody gorilla then, go on. Um, but he didn't use that language. So, I mean, a sort of gorilla face would be kind of low brows. Uh, I'm doing the kind of 1930s animal to be feared gorilla. <laughs> Your basic King Kong. Um, so, a sort of... <laughs> I don't know if this is a gorilla. It's kind of Neanderthal that's uh, got piles. But, anyway. Sort of this kind of affair, really. So, I sort of draw the face a bit like that. You know, I'd mess around in pencils until I was sort of happy. Uh, and then, you know, sort of... See, notice I'm sort of drawing angles. So instead of sort of being flat on, just trying to make it a bit more interesting, um, it just um, suggests movement, really. So, you know, if you have tilting angles and things, I don't know why I did a dot there. Um, it just makes it look a bit more interesting. And that's the thing, you see, you want things to look, you want things to look interesting, otherwise people won't look at it, basically. Uh, that sounds a bit patronising. Oh, sorry about that. So, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of that affair, really. I think for a gorilla, you know, um, I'm not that happy with that. To be fair, I, I actually preferred the sketch I did before, which I sort of, I sort of did the head and neck coming out of the torso. Uh, let's see if I can recreate that. So the sort of head came out. At um, that angle. See, that's the thing. I mean, when you're you're sketching around, you kind of discover things. And tiny, tiny ear. Uh, oh yeah, that's much better. It's doing, it's doing sort of running. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Yeah. So there we go. I think I've, yeah, that's, that's all right. I like that. And then he's kind of running with his tiny, tiny little feet. Hang on. <laughs> like that. Oh, that's, that's, that's all right. I quite like that. Yeah, so, um, see, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm learning as I go along. See, I don't plan these. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should, you know, <laughs> choreograph it all out. Um, so, yeah, he's kind of running on his knuckles. But, yeah, so, and you know, okay, you see, it's it's trying to make it look interesting and you know get different angles going there uh, you know uh, yeah I like that and then you know you sort of color it all in and what have you um, I was sort of thinking about when you're, you're trying to make things look interesting it's good to have a curve uh, next to a kind of straightish line so if you're doing muscles and things we sort of do that so it, and it just just brings it to life a bit more and makes it more interesting to look at. 
a uh, very sort of dynamic way of uh, way of drawing. If you look at Hercules and uh, the the sort of nineteen nineties uh, Disney, um, they employed that to great effect. Milan was very good as well at that. They sort of the you had the the, the softs and the uh, I don't know where I'm going with that. Mushu, I think he had a kind of anyway. I, I'm not in that kind of league, but uh, anyway, <laughs> that's not what he looked like. I don't know what I'm doing. So, all right. So that's basically it. Um, I hope you're happy with that, Nathan. I like, I like that one. The other one was awful. Um, so that's what happens when you kind of draw in pen and stuff. It all goes horribly wrong, and you just have to sort of quit while you're ahead. But anyway, so. If you want to get in contact with me uh, and, and ask me to draw some ink, um, then I can be contacted at Stick Tunes on Twitter. And um, you know, if you want sort of attitudes, you know, uh, certain expressions, various animals, I don't know. Just ask me, uh, and we'll see where it takes us. So. I'm going to draw my sign-off dog, uh, Spuddy, I think I'll call him. Uh, his name may change. <laughs> so yeah, give me a call. Um, if you want to contact me on Facebook, my uh, Facebook name, my real name, da -da, is Bill Greenhead. So um, look, look out for Bill Greenhead and um, stick something on my wall. Yeah. Okay, guys, well, it's been nice. I, I said guys, that's awful. I hate that. Sorry. Um, yeah, chaps, um, if you wouldn't mind uh, getting in contact with me and asking me to draw something for you, I'd be more than uh, willing. Not sure I'll be able, but uh, we'll have a go. All right, then. Nice to see you all and uh, have a good weekend. Or actually, yeah, uh, it is going to be the weekend when I've recorded this. Well, I have recorded this. Oh, I'm getting in a mess. Uh, but anyway, see you later.